Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Mr. Lee's physics class. Today, we are going to learn the new chapter. Chapter 2, Capacitors. The subtopics for today is Capacitor and Capacitance. The aim of study today, of the lesson today is to understand the capacitance, capacitor in series and parallel, and also the energy stored in a charge capacitor. Objectives. In this lesson, students define capacitance and use the formula C equal to Q over V. And objective number two, derive the use of the formula C equal to epsilon A over D for parallel plate capacitor. Objective three, describe the qualitatively, describe qualitatively the action of the dielectric in a parallel plate capacitor. Objective number four, derive the use of the formula for effective capacitance of capacitors in series and in parallel arrangement. And last objective is use the formula of U equal to one over two QV or U equal to one over two Q, the power two Q squared or Q squared for C. And last, U equal to one over two C V squared. Assume period knowledge. Students should be familiar with first electric field. Second, the uniform electric field between the parallel plate of a capacitor. Three, charge potential difference and also the energy. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go to the introduction of the lesson. In the slide, we can notice that there are various types of capacitor. So this device is used to store charge. And today, we will learn more about this device, that is capacitor. Ladies and gentlemen, let's look at the second slide. Introduction. In this lesson, you will learn to define the capacitance and use the formula of C equal to Q over V. Okay. Next, derive the formula for the parallel flat capacitor and describe quantitatively the action of dielectric in the parallel flat capacitor. And Next, derive and use the formula for the effective capacitance of capacitor in series and parallel arrangement. So use the formula of U equal to 1 over 2 QV or U equal to 1 over 2, over 2 Q squared over C or U equal to 1 over 2 CV squared. Let's look at the circuit. Let's say we use a uh, direct current. We use a cell or battery. We connect directly to a capacitor. Inside the capacitor, the concept of a capacitor means that there are two plates which separate with a distance. So this is the concept of the capacitor. And then how the capacitor function? Once the circuit is off or the circuit is on, or the circuit is connected, we notice that the current flow and cause the charge collect at both plates, which are opposite charge to each other. The red color is electron, which with the post, uh, sorry, with negative charge. 
and positive is the positive charge. So when you zoom in, we notice that the two flat separate with a distance, which the distance is either. Uh, okay, now we can notice that the distance, the medium between the two flat are A. So what will happen when the switch is on? Current flow and cause the charge collect at the flat. One of the flat will be charged negative and the other side will be charged with positive charge. Now, definition of the capacitance. Once the switch is off, the switch is connected. We notice that the current flow and cause the, what is that? Cause the both flat charges with positive and negative. Meanwhile, actually, we move the, we pump the concept similar, we pump the all of the water to the other side. We notice that when the current, when the current flow through the circuit, the charge are collected at both flat. So this means that the capacitance, what is mean by capacitance? Cap capacitance, for example, the device, electronic device we learned before, for example, resistor. Resistor, what is the unit used for the quantity of resistor? It is resistance. Resistant, what is the meaning of resistant? Resistant, first, the function of the resistor is used to limit the charge, limit the current. So resistant is the ability of the resistor to limit the current, current flow in the circuit. Now, what we learn today is the capacitor. The quantity used to make sure in the capacitor is the capacitance. First, what is the function of a capacitor? Capacitor is a device used to store charge, to keep the charge. A neutral Capacitor means that none of the charge inside. But once the charge is stored, this means that the capacitor similarly, okay, the charge, the negative charge will store in one side of the plate and positive, all of the positive charge will store at the other side of the plate. Which the medium between the two pad, two uh, two pad, either vacuum or air. From here, capacitance is the quantity used to make sure used in the capacitor. Capacitance means that the ability ability of a capacitor to store charge. The higher the capacitance, the more the charge can be stopped. A capacitor is like that. Once we connect to positive, if we connect to positive, this side will charge, the right side will charge with positive because it's connected to positive terminal of the battery. Which plate, the plate which we connected to the negative terminal will charge negatively. The 
formula for the capacitance, the general formula for the cap capacitance, C equal to Q over V. Q is the amount of charge and V will be the potential difference. Or we call that is voltage. How many volt? Let's say, Let's look at the next slide. The C equal to QV, and we arrange Q equal to CV. The charge stored in the capacitor depends on the ability, the capacitance times with the V. Now, the potential difference, both of them are 5 watt. V is 5 watt. Now, the difference is C, capacitance. The capacitance. 10 microfarad. The unit for the capacitor is farad. So the first one, the capacitor of 10 microfarad times 10 upon negative 6. Yeah? And another one with 100 microfarad. We look at the two capacitor, two different capacitor. Now we see what are the difference. First, Q equal to CV. The C is 10 to the power negative 6 microfarad. The, ah, sorry, 10 to the power negative 6 farad times with the 5 voltage. Voltage, potential difference, voltage 5. We get a 50 micro column. That is the charge number of charge stop and next it will be 500 according to the formula q equal to cv so the higher the capacitance of a capacitor the more the charge can be stopped this one just 50 micro column but the second one with 100 microfarad the the amount of charge stored is 500 micro column. As a conclusion, we can say that the capacitance is equal to charge on any one plate divided by the potential difference across the plate. That means C equal to Q over V. Ladies and gentlemen, let's look at the derivation of formula for the capacitance of a parallel black capacitor. That means that both black are put side by side. So we said that this black with the parallel black capacitor. If I increase the area, so you notice that once the area increase, this means that the greater the the greater the area, the greater the capacitance. So it means that the capacitance is directly proportional to the cross sectional area of the plate. Again, the capacitance is directly proportional to the cross sectional area of the flat. Meanwhile, the greater the A, the greater the C. As a conclusion, once the C increase, the charge can be stored on the flat, also increase. Number of charge which can store or stay at the, on the flat also increase. Now, what will happen to the distance of the separation between the two plates? Once the distance of the plate increase, we notice that the capacitance also increase. Okay, sorry, one over D also increase. Meanwhile, this will be like that. 
once the plate increase, the distance of suppression increase, the capacitance will decrease. So once the once the area cross sectional area cross sectional area just now is the distance. Okay, sorry, this one. Once the separation plat reduce, the distance of separation reduce, as what we can notice that one over D also smaller. This means that the capacitance will be higher. As a conclusion, C, capacitance is inversely proportional to the separation between the two plat. Now, if the tube flat with the suppression in the medium of vacuum, that means none of any A molecule or any material in between the tube flat, just vacuum. Another one is the with dielectric. First, the definition. Dielectric constant, epsilon R, of the material is defined as Er equal to C over C naught. This means that that will be a constant. Dielectric for A is one point. If there is A, if vacuum, if A, 1.0005. For paper is 3.7. Grass is at ceramic at T to 1200. That means it depends on the density. Okay, different material with different dielectric constant Er. Okay, Er is come from C over C naught. Now we look at here. The deviation of formula for capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor. Both plate are arranged in parallel with a distance. Where one side will charge with positive, another side charge with negative. Positive and negative. Meanwhile, what happened? We look at the two plate. This means that we notice that when starting initially, both of the plat are neutral. Once we connected to the current, the positive terminal and negative terminal, the current is flow during charging. Once the plat, both of the plat fully charged, observe the current, the arrow, the current will stop flowing. At this time, what happened? Actually, the capacitor charged with positive and negative charge. Because there is a medium in between the two plates, cause that there will be a potential difference. Easiest we said that if I charge I use a five volt battery to charge a neutral capacitor. Once the capacitor are fully charged, this capacitor also charge with maximum five volt. If I use five volt of battery, charge a neutral capacitor, when the situation of the capacitor are fully charged, this means that now, the capacitor itself become a source. In the other way, said that it become a temporary battery of 5 volt. This is 5 volt, right? Once it's fully charged, it also become, when fully charged, the capacitor become a battery of 5 volt, but temporary only not as strong as the battery. 
Now we go back to the slide. What is the deviation? A according to the formula, C is equal to Q over V. And E is equal to Q over epsilon A. Because they are one flat charge with positive and one flat charge with negative. So the electric field strength because charge opposite charge with a distance, with a potential, with a dis distance separation, it produces a potential difference. At the end, E equal to V over D. Next, by using the formula, C equal to Q over V, which equal to epsilon A over the D is the separation of the flag. As a conclusion, we get that C not equal to epsilon A over D, a constant. Okay, the capacitance C not is the capacitance of this flag. Just now, as we know that C is equal to Q over V, right? C equal to Q over V, that means that the separation in between either is vacuum or A. The separation, the medium in between the two plates is A. C equal to Q over V. If we add a medium in between the plate, positive plate and the negative plate, that means that the new capacitance is equal to epsilon A over D. Okay. What is the function of the object in between the two plates, which we call that is the dielectric? This dielectric function as a as an insulator. It prevent the charge jump over each other. It prevent the electron, the negative charge, jump from one plate, from the negative plate to the positive plate, the electron. Meanwhile, if we using A in all the electrons, uh, all the vacuum between the medium, between the two black. This means that electron possible move in vacuum. Electron possible jump. To increase the resistance between the two black, to increase the resistance between the two plates to avoid the charge on both plates jump each other, jump to the other side. This means that to avoid the charge from the elect, uh, negative, from, uh, avoid the, let's say, avoid the negative charge, jump from negative plate to positive plate. So we add a medium, in between the two plate. Dielectric means that the material we add into the medium must be insulator of electric. The greeter, why we add the insulator in between the two plate? The purpose we add is used to increase the resistance between the two plate to avoid the electron move over. If the electron cannot move through the dielectric medium, this means that it's become a perfectly charged capacitor. Means well, it can store more charge. We can charge it with higher volt, higher potential difference because the electron will not, electron or the charge, positive charge and negative charge cannot jump over the medium, okay? So as a conclusion, we said that dielectric is used to increase the capacitance of a capacitor. 
dielectric is used to increase the amount of charge stored in a capacitor. Let's go to the next slide. Let's say application for the formula. If the area is 1 cm times 10 cm, this means that it will be the cross sectional area is 10 cm square. Convert to meter square is 10 to the power negative 1 times 10 to the power negative 3 meter square. Permitted VT is 3.4 times 8.85 times 10 to the power negative 12. For example, if the plate suppression is 0 0.05, by using the formula, C equal to epsilon A over D, we substitute all the value. So we get that the capacitance of the capacitor now is 601.8 pico farad. Okay. So farad. Okay, pico farad. So next. Consider there are two flat, there are two flat charge with positive and negative each other. Once the two flat are near to each other in the medium of A or vacuum, this means that it will create a region where we call that is the electric field. What happened when the charge? When the neutral charge in between, we put the, let's say any molecule with neutral charge, negative, positive together. One charge with positive, negative, this means neutral. When we put in, there will be well arranged. Positive with the negative. The positive will, and positive will go to the other side and attract the negative again. So we notice again, without well arrangement, at the end, all of the molecule are arranged in, the, in order. That means that what we add in actually, once we were, uh, what we add in, add in between the two plates, they are the material, the dielectric material. When dielectric material add into the electric field, the neutral charge in the dielectric, all of them are well arranged. So it's still the number of negative and number of positive are neutral. Okay, are equal. So this dielectric consider is neutral. Next, we look at here. The action of dielectric in the parallel flat capacitor. So we notice that the electric, now all of them are arranged where positive will attract negative and repel the positive. The positive attract negative. So positive and negative always side by side to each other. So from here, we can conclude that the capacitance is directly proportional to the area of the cross-sectional area of the flat. Don't just write area only because it depends on the cross-sectional area of the flat. So C, capacitance is directly proportional to the cross sectional area of flat. The capacitance is inversely proportional to the flat separation, to the distant separation. The dielectric increase the capacitance of a capacitor. Where dielectric actually is an insulator. 
and the capacitance C of a parallel plate capacitor is given by C equal to epsilon A over B. And last, dielectric plates in a parallel plate capacitor can increase the capacitance of a capacitor. Now, we look at the capacitor uh, which arranged in series. Capacitor are arranged in series arrangement. That means that one, once we arrange in series, that means that this will be the positive and negative, right? So this is positive flag. Why I can okay, positive flag, positive terminal and negative terminal. The positive will cause the other side charge with positive. That means that this will be dielectric insulator medium and cause the other side negative. Negative will attract with the add cause the other side to charge with positive, negative. And this side is negative to the negative terminal. Now, let's say V, we notice that this is a V. This will be the V1. V1 is the voltage because if this touch is positive, this touch is negative, consider it become a battery, a source of charge. So let's say a battery, another battery. So when the two battery arrange in parallel, sorry, in series, this means that V1 plus V2 equal to V. Okay. The potential difference across the capacitor. V1 equal to Q over C1, V2 equal to Q over C2 depends the charge store depends on the voltage and also the capacitance. So supply of V, this means V total, total of the V will be equal to V1 plus V2. Why? Because V equal to V1 plus V2, because in series, the total of the voltage are shared to, together with the capacitor one and capacitor two. If both of them with the same capacitance, this means that V1 will be equal to V2. So the V, V is inversely proportional to C. The greater the C, the smaller the V. The greater the C, the smaller the V. Okay. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I switched off accidentally just now. So from here, substitution, the V, V1 equal to Q over C1. At the end, we get that the total, total charge, total charge, total charge, total C, C1, C2. As a result, we can set that because the total charge are equal. So one over C, equal to one over C1 plus one over C2. What is the meaning? This means that initially C1 and C2, once we combine, we arrange in series arrangement, similar, we combine the two capacitor become a single capacitor. Again, we look at here, the two capacitor C1 and C2, which are arranged in series, means while C1 and C2 combine, it become a C. We can set that it combine become a single C. Where the C, C is referred to the C total. That means one over C equal to one over C1 plus one over C2. Now, we look at here. 
what happen if we arrange the capacitor in parallel? If parallel, that means that voltage across are equal, right? The concept. So what we can notice that if this is positive, both sides charge with positive. This side negative terminal cause the, the other side, the older left, uh, sorry, right side of the capacitor charge with negative charge. Now we look at the capacitor in parallel. Q1 is equal to C1 V1. Q2 equal to C2 V2. Total charge in the circuit. That means Q equal to Q1 plus Q2. Okay. Q1 plus Q2, this means that the charge Q1 plus Q2, total charge. This means that if we arrange in parallel, this means that the charge produced will be higher. And substitution, CV, Q equal to CV, right? C total, V total equal to C1, V1 plus C2, V2. Because these two capacitors are arranged in parallel, the V total will be equal the voltage, the total voltage of the battery will be equal to the voltage of the first capacitor and the second capacitor. No matter how big is the capacitance, both of them will have the same voltage. Reason? Because they arrange, they are arranged in parallel to each other. They are arranged not only parallel, the two capacitors not only arranged parallel to each other, but also parallel with the source of the electric. Now, sorry. Uh, yeah. So total capacitance will be equal to C1 plus C2. If arranged in uh, arranged in parallel. As a conclusion, this means that the V still equal. So the C total is C1 plus C2. If we replace it, we call that is the effective resistance. So effective capacitance. So total capacitance. Next. Now we look at here, the, uh, the how to solve. If we have parallel, we have the resistance, which, uh, sorry, capacitor, which arranged in series. First, calculate the capacitance of the two parallel, solve the two parallel. If parallel capacitance is C total equal to C1 plus C2, right? So this means seven plus three, it will be 10 micro farad. When series, it will become, this means that once we solve it, after we solve, it become this, become five. And this, the parallel we solve, it become a, can be represented by a capacitor of, 10 microfarad and this side with the 5 microfarad. So how to solve it? 1 over 1 over 5 plus 1 over C. Okay, 1 over C total equal to 1 over C1 plus C2, 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3. At the end, we solve it. The effective resistance is equal to 1 over 2. So this means that the C, the, cap, the effective capacitance will be equal to two micro 
para Ladies and gentlemen, as a conclusion, we can say that the two cap capacitor connected in series, what happened? Okay, two capacitor connect in series, the charge on each capacitor is the same and equal to Q. The Q will be equal. The total charge stored by both capacitor together is Q. That means the both charge in series will have the same Q. And the potential difference V is shared between the two capacitor, V equal to V1 plus V2. If in the series, the Effective capacitance is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. This is in series. And next, if the two capacitor connected in parallel, the potential across each capacitor is the same. V is equal. In series, Q is equal. In parallel, V is equal but the Q will be equal to Q1, Q total equal to Q1 plus Q2. And finally, the effective capacitance will be equal to C1 plus C2. Now, how about the energy stored in the capacitor? The positive charge and negative charge stop. We notice that when the switch is connected, current flow. Okay, okay, so again, so we notice that this one, if the capacitor is fully charged, this means that, for example, we go to this one, let's say. Once we charge the capacitor, the capacitor fully charged, the current will go off. After the capacitor, the two plate charge. Means while the capacitor is fully charged. Okay, no current flow in the circuit. Stop charging. Now, once just now battery charge the capacitor, right? I replace the battery with a bulb. As I told you just now, the capacitor charge, it become a source of battery, a new battery, temporary battery. Once I switch on, so it's released charge until the bulb light off. Why the bulb light off? Because no more charge flow through the bulb and none of the electric energy convert to light energy. So the bulb light off, the light gone. Next. The energy, how we calculate the energy stored in capacitor how much of the energy we can use this three formula? U equal to one over two QV, where U equal to one over two, the V equal to Q over C, right? So Q times Q over C, this means that it becomes Q2 over C. If Q equal to, as we know that, Q equal to CV. So U equal to one over two CV squared as well. As a conclusion, the energy is stored in the electric field of a charged capacitor. The equation we can use are these three equation. U is the energy stored in the capacitor. Ladies and gentlemen, 
that's other concept that other concept of the capacitance in the capacitor we learned today after this i will send you one set of the question which regarding to today's lesson i want you all solve it i want you all try to solve the question and please check your telegram after you do the question after you finish the exercise so i will send you the answer the suggested answer so please refer and check it the question which i will post later i will send to you <coughs> So we have two pages, which are question one, question two, question three, question four. Next page, question five, question six, and also question seven. Seven question of the exercise. So ladies and gentlemen, Please solve it now and we will end today's lesson and we continue again on next lesson. Thank you very much and see you again on the next lesson. Bye-bye.